now. We need to get ready, and we're going to go, <laughs> chat, go. Before we talk about your new band, the new endeavors with Desperate Men, which is the name of your band. That is our backup band, yes. Let's talk a little bit about your past. Between the two of you, you've written some, some big hits. I mean, like they were like, yay big. Yes. How, how, did, you, how did you first meet? Well, a long time ago. 1968, Decca Records, right? Yeah. yeah. Band called Chelsea. Band called Chelsea. Yeah. Band called Chelsea. That was us. How did you get together songwriting? Well, the guitarist quit. He's a real prima donna. And he, he split, and we auditioned. And when Doc joined, I quit. <laughs> it's, it's really true. I, I, we didn't like each other. We just didn't hit it right off. And I quit. And that night, they all got on a train and came down to my house in uh, Brooklyn, somewhere I was living. Canarsie. Canarsie. <laughs> No one would know where Canals is, but it's, it's in Brooklyn. And uh, <laughs> they begged me to join the band and come back. And I, and I said, okay, I'll try it out. And the next thing, we became like, which we are now, like brothers. And uh, we, we formed a trio called Lips. And that was with just the bass player. And we threw the lead singer out and threw out the rhythm guitars, who were the writers and the lead singers. And we took over. <laughs> We even robbed the PA from him. <laughs> how, did you, how did you start writing together? You all have written, of course, Beth for Kiss, uh, which was a, a million seller and, and a lot of other songs. Like, how did you start writing? The People's Choice Award also. People's Choice? Yes. I, I, didn't, I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, I won a People's Choice Award. We, uh, we, he always wrote, I always wrote, we, we, we tried it one day together and it was incredible. And I, I would take the train with a kunga that I got in a hawk shop and I, I would take a two hour train ride and get to his house around 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we meet at the and train station. And we'd from, from like 9 in the morning to maybe 1 in the morning, not stop. We built our own little studio, uh, <laughs> like with a blanket and a little, little tape deck, <laughs> and a little mic like this, and we'd go on and on and on. His, uh, Nell, now his wife, then was uh, going to college, would come home on a bike with a little chicken, and she'd feed us, and we ate a lot of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so, a lot of chicken, boy. <laughs> The colonel could have uh, learned something from us. What have, what have, what have y'all been doing between... Now you're getting the band together. It's called Desperate Men. Now, these are musicians. Once again, we'll talk about the band. They're musicians from Nashville. Mm -hmm. What had y'all done, like, since you left Kiss and... The song? What have, what have y'all been doing for, like, for the past three, four years? What have you been doing? Well, when I left... When I left the band... It's funny. Tomorrow is the day that I left Kiss three years ago. And uh, we did an album called Out of Control. <clears throat> and we were totally out of control. Uh, that's why we called it out of control. <laughs> Who is this person? Makes, really? but, uh, <laughs> and as, as the end of it came, uh, we got into an argument or something really stupid. And uh, we didn't talk to each other for like three years, something like that, two and a half years. And I went out and did another album called Let Me Rock You. It was only released in Europe. Uh, and I just didn't want to do anything anymore. I just locked myself in this big house and got stupid. You know, I just hung up my... Uh, drums and my guitars and stuff and uh, just had enough of it and he sent me a love letter <laughs> actually it was it was something like that this is true and, uh, yeah he did and it said something in there uh like uh whatever happened to that drummer i used to play with and uh, it just freaked me out and i called him and uh, we met at grand central station <laughs> how'd you how'd you end up in nashville because uh, nashville uh, is now home for both of you correct that's correct yes. you how'd you end up nashville's in nashville home for us now well, it's about the, uh, that's a, actually a very good question. Yeah, how do you get that one out, okay? Well? Well, well my drums are made here in Nashville. But Pearl drums. Yeah, uh, how do we get to Nashville? It's hard. Well, what we did was we uh, took like 95 South uh, and 40 West. <laughs> and we it's already been done. It's already been done. there. Yeah. Well, I don't, I, I met an agent. Uh, well, I was working with a guy who said he wrote for Chicago. He didn't write for anybody. <laughs> and uh, he got me in touch with this agent who really wasn't an agent who knew Board Brothers Talent Agency, mm -hmm. uh, who really didn't know them. <laughs> and for some reason, we finally connected, and they flew us down. So you came to Nashville and met somebody that told the truth. And, and, and finally. And liked it, right? Finally, yeah. someone who was honest, and we are with really honest people now. And uh, we like that. In New York City, it's, it's, an, it's totally different, man. It's... Uh, it's dog eat dog, and, and if you're not, per se, quote, up there, then they don't want you anymore. They don't really give a hell about you. And out here, man, everybody's chilly. I mean, it's all cool. Everybody's, everybody just loves you, man, no matter where you are or who you are. And that's, that's where it's at for me. Uh, now, I need that. I need that input. Now, let's talk about now, Desperate Men. There are national musicians in your band, mm -hmm. and the one for the Sun concert will be your first appearance ever. And you're not playing drums here. You're, you're playing yeah. the group now and singing, right? Yeah, we are. Uh, he 
he's finally got me a uh, out of the uh, twenty thousand drum cymbals type thing and because uh, i have more talent and i don't even know about it and being as close as we are he does and he'll kind of give me that fire under my can which i really need and i'm up there and i'm a dancing fool i'm having a ball man i'm running around uh i'm playing percussion uh I know you're i'm playing guitar mm -hmm. uh it's great man it's just really you gotta be excited getting with the doc because yeah. i know for years yeah. doc was in the songwriting end of it and now you're right. live on stage yeah. with him together yeah, this and is so first so one for the sun will be your first and yeah. all new material yeah. and Brady working songs. on a lot of stuff and i know people are going to be looking forward to it oh yeah they it's going to be it's going to be so heavy i mean because i've stored up three years the bubbles of energy yeah. that we haven't let out yet and when we get on that stage man uh we'll probably sink it the one for the sun <laughs> they can put it gentlemen thank you so much for joining us and oh, we will be looking forward to one for the sun That's and the right. all new material you're chris my partner doc penridge my partner and we're here to tell you about one for the sun june 9th gonna be gorgeous gorgeous <laughs> hermitage beach landing we also like to remind you keep watching saturday night video That's right because you can win a limo. limousine right oh you get to be a rock star take three friends three friends backstage pass hopefully three girls and backstage. <laughs> well, he's cutting us off again. Don't cut us Bye. off. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>